Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a reservation system by using Calendly.com for free. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. So I'm at Calendly.com and I'm going to sign up for a free account using, in this case, a Google account. But you can see you could also use a Microsoft account or any other email address that you have. And I'm going to sign in here. I'm going to sign up as my dog, Max. And we're going to sign in to his account here. Let's find Max's account. There it is. And we're going to allow access to Calendly. And here we go. So let's go ahead and say we want to create a schedule. Now, the default is a 30 minute meeting with Max. And we want to edit this. So let's go in and edit this. And we can call it anything that we want. It doesn't have to be 30 minute meeting with Max. We could call it something else entirely. But for now, we'll just leave it as is. And you can see the default is a meeting via Zoom. But we can change that out and we can put in anything else that we want. We can use Google Meet. We can do a phone call. You can see we have go to go to meeting and WebEx or Microsoft Teams all as options or an in-person meeting. Let's say in-person meeting is going to happen in the school library. And you can put in a little additional information if you want to, like, you know, Meet at the front desk and update it there. Now, you can put in some instructions here, like, you know, please notify me if you cannot make your meeting. And you can see here 30 minutes. I want to make this not 30 minutes, 20 minute blocks of time. And so we now have our meeting set up. And now let's view the live page. And so this is the live page. We'll see currently he's unavailable. And that's because this is for me. And anyone who wants to meet with me We'll simply go to that page. Let's copy that link address and let's bring up the page for per a person who's signing up to meet with me. So somebody viewing this Calendly page will now see when I'm available. And you can see right there, I'm available on Mondays and Wednesdays and you can click and select a time, click next and put in the information Let's say it's going to be Morrison. And he's going to make the meeting. And schedule the event. And now he'll get a reminder of this meeting before the meeting actually takes place. Now, let's go back into the account admin and look at some of the other things that we can change about this. So we can see what event is this 20 minute meeting with Max and we can see school library. Please notify me if you can't make your meeting. And there's the Calendly link. We can change the colors if we want. Now let's save and close that page. And we'll, we can go in and add some additional questions or options for people who are attending. You can see add a new question and you could customize that and say something like, you know, what do you want to talk about? Or what do you want to learn about? And save and close that. So we can have those questions. And the confirmation page here, you can see we're just going to display the Calendly confirmation page. But you could also redirect to a different website if you wanted to for this one. The simplest thing is just to leave it as a default Calendly page. Now let's go back into the entire account admin and we'll see 
There's 20 minute meeting with Max, 20 minutes, one-on-one. -on -one. We can go to the booking page at any time and see it right there. Now, let's say we want to change the availability, change the schedule for this. Well, we had a couple of options here. And the easiest way to do it, just go back into the meeting itself and check out when can people book this event. And you can see I'm going to book this out for 60 calendar days into the future, but I can change it and say 90 calendar days into the future or within a date range. And let's change the schedule. So let's do some custom hours. And we're going to say available 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Thursday, Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. My Wednesday schedule I have set from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m or I could make them all 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. or let's say 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. on those other days if I wanted to. And let's add in a date override in case there's a holiday and we're not gonna have any reservations available on one of those holidays. Like, let's say Labor Day, we're going to not be available at all on Labor Day. So that's how you can create a little reservation system or an appointment system by using Calendly.com for free. As always, for more things like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or visit freetechforteachers.com.